there and it's just gone way too far the two things that i'm going to speak about tonight are that you guys are telling the world i never had covid one thing that i don't like to do is screenshot fake messages or fake ass things and post them on the internet like two little girls do all day i'm not giving them any they are so happy to be making headlines right now like people don't even know you the only twins people know are the claremont twins from bad girls club we nobody knows you guys so this is exactly what you wanted and that's fine and we don't care because we're making a show on OnlyFans with or without you guys like you were just gonna be fillers you were not the stars of anything you've never been so with that being said let me not get off topic here the two things I wanted to talk about which I hate to have to do because it's so like not me to like I don't screenshot like if I have a conversation with somebody I really don't like to post receipts um, or whatever you people call it nowadays like I don't like to do that um my conversation with networks or um CEOs of networks or producers I don't go to the internet the last few days I have posted random little things because this has gotten so out of hand with making me seem like I am some malicious scamming bad girl which is not Natalie so First and foremost, I would like to address that um, what you say about my husband will really truly get you beat the fuck up. Um, the only reason why mine and Jacob's name was on the PayPal account, uh, was on the OnlyFans account was because, mind you, I've never had OnlyFans. Danny, Gabby, Lucy B, whatever her name is, I call her Lucy B, all of those girls have had OnlyFans. I don't have OnlyFans. I don't need to have an OnlyFans account. My idea was to bring an amazing show to OnlyFans. We are still doing the show, with or without Danny and Gabby, um, who were not the heavy hitters of the show anyways. Um, so let me just go on to say, our names were on there because they don't have a business account. Mind you, we're talking about two little girls who live at home with their parents still, who have a whole YouTube video begging the fans to just give them free money. So um, again, I don't like to do this like it's really like I don't like to I don't like to do this but you guys are bringing me to a petty ass place it's getting so petty that I know Tanisha you're watching and you wanted to get the coin and I and you just again fumbled your own bag again sis because I just canceled what the fuck we were gonna be doing for you and I to sit down I canceled that so there went your bag and you needed that bag and again I was doing you a favor by doing that with you and um, I just let them know we're not doing that, period. So you, you, miss, I'm the godmother, I'm so sweet. You also are failing to tell them all that you're still trying to work with me. Again, we're not working together. So that's done. We don't need to say names. We don't need to say who we were going to be working with. It's done. I don't need to do that. I don't need to say, oh, this network or, oh, this people. I'm not, that's never been my style. It never has been. But I know you're watching, and I know you know I am not doing that. It's it's done. You needed that money. I don't need to, I don't need that money. So you are also failing to tell everybody that you were still trying to work with me. It's not happening. You're not getting you're not you're not doing shit with me. You're not using my name to get me to make a fucking penny. Period. Okay? Now let me move on to the COVID thing because that's starting to get a little bit annoying natalie nunn's medical let's see i'll read it to you and I'll, I'll flip the camera so the people who are educated and can read they can read it also after visit summary natalie nunn i don't know if i should give put that number on there i'm not sure what mrn is but date of birth right there 9 14 okay emergency department at sutter hospital in roseville Today's visit, you were seen by Dr. Pilgrim, MD. Reasons for visit, breathing problems, cough and a fever, diagnosis, COVID-19 virus infection and a cough. Hmm, I didn't have COVID though. Okay, so I don't know about the MRM, so I'm just gonna cover that. Natalie Nunn's visit, okay? Infections. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Natalie lied about having COVID. COVID, COVID-19 infection virus and cough. 
the health department paperwork. All the stuff I needed to sign was Sutter Health. Natalie Nunn, account information, age, I'm not gonna post all of that. Reason of visit, COVID-19 virus infection and cough. Listen here, guys. There was never a contract with the Danny and Gabby girls because they keep claiming that they sent a contract to me. We, my whole thing is, you sent a contract that said Bad Girls Club on it, sweetheart. This is not the Bad Girls Club. Like I've said, because this was all my idea. This is none of your guys' idea. I don't even know why you feel entitled to anything with this whole thing. It's Bad Bitch Reunion, okay? So your contract right away when you demanded me to open it up on Monday morning two days ago and said all of the shit you said, I was out because it says Bad Girls Club. We have a contract over here that our lawyers have, have drafted up and you guys are just not a part of this. Like, just walk away and be, be happy with just walking away. We offered you guys your share of money up until Monday at midnight when, when the rest of the girls and I all decided to let you go. But you got on the internet and you started making a bitch, you ain't entitled to shit. We were nicely going to give you money, the money that you could have been making after we took out of, you also went on the internet today and said I didn't pay for the house and I didn't pay for anything. Like, girl, I have the receipt. Like, you don't have a dime, you didn't put a dime up for shit. Like, what are you talking about? It, this is really like, I'm not gonna just keep going. The show is happening. And just why don't you get on the internet and say you're mad that you're no longer a part of the show because you guys wanted to have full editing. You said you wanted to have full editing, that you guys wanted to edit all of the episodes. You then went as far as saying, fire all of your camera crew people and bring only, we're gonna, we're gonna hire our own. And you guys sent your cameraman a letter, a, a whole disclosure that you got that they would only release the footage to you guys because you guys wanted to edit who edits the episodes like are what are you talking about did you ever get to edit the episodes for bad girls club the show you still think that we're on this is bad bitch reunion clearly you're not a bad bitch clearly you're not a bad bitch so what you're not going to do is you're not going to talk about my husband the only reason why my account with Jacobs was on the PayPal, and you guys know that was because it was a business account. You guys said, we have OnlyFans, because I do not, again, have OnlyFans. You should have a PayPal account attached to it, so every single girl can get paid just through PayPal. I said, sure, whatever you guys want to do. You guys said, oh, well, it's going to be a lot of money coming through there, and we should have a business PayPal account. None of y'all business, none of y'all bitches had a business PayPal account that had a limited amount that can go through it except me. Because I make, un that, because I have had so much money go through PayPal and you guys didn't want the money to be hailed for 30 days. So we use my account, my account that we use for all of my businesses because I make unlimited money. We used my business account. I really don't like how messy you guys are getting. I really don't like it. I really don't like what you're trying to do. I don't like it that Tanisha, um, that you got on your fucking live with some little bitches that you was trying to cut out from the beginning. You were trying to cut them all out from the beginning. I don't need to talk about the network that was involved. I don't need to do that. You are sitting here trying to act like you are Miss like mother of the bad girls club. You are not. You are fucking messy. You are trying to do side deals. I, again, just this evening, declined every single thing with you. Never. Will never do any of that with you. Therefore, you will not make that money with me. That, that you still wanted to do. You still carried on. Actually, I stopped even mentioning you to them. Then you said, okay, how about next Friday the 30th? I can come out and we can do that. You just fucking shot yourself in the foot. I am not working with you, period. I am not working with you. No, it's not happening. So I don't need to keep going. Guys, COVID, I have had COVID, unfortunately. I fought it. 
Um, I also did say that when we move in the house in Atlanta, there would be a COVID lady. She's going to charge each girl $120. I guess the Victor twins went on to say, oh, we could take our COVID test before we get there. No, 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 because you're going to be traveling to Atlanta. So we are going to stay in the hotel for 24 hours and get COVID tests and then get our results and move in the house. Therefore, I was even willing to take the COVID test and I already know I am COVID negative and I already know that I have the whatever they want to call the antibody and I'm protected from it. I don't believe any of that anyways. So we were going to take the test again. You guys opted out of so much shit. You guys literally started giving me a fucking headache. The rest of the girls had a headache. We therefore did not want to work with you guys anymore. Stop getting on the internet talking about me and my fucking family. Tanisha, you literally text me about all your personal medical issues. I, I would never ever fucking get on the internet and talk about you and your fucking family. I would never do that. You're being a messy ass bitch and it's done. Whatever you thought you was gonna come out here next Friday and do with me and film, not happening. That little check doesn't even tickle my motherfucking pussy lips, bitch. That was getting you all the way the fuck across the country. Not happening. Not happening. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, bitch. This is not a scam. We have a show. We have full cameras. Bitch is telling me I'm going to shoot some shit on an iPhone. You got me so fucked up. Stop talking about my fucking husband because I will literally beat you the fuck up, bitch. You know, all, all you miserable, miserable ass bitches, y'all acting like you the baddest bitch. Where the fuck's your husband's at? I'll wait. I'll wait. Miserable, bitter bitches is what the fuck y'all are. Don't got no nigga. Ain't got no in-home dick. Tanisha, should, we, should I start screenshotting the shit you say about your husband to me via text messages? I ain't messy though, baby. You're not going to get me out of character, baby. The only thing I'm going to tell the people is about my medical condition that I had. That's the only thing I'm going to do. I'm going to show them shit about me. You want me to get on the internet and talk about your husband like you was just trying to talk about mine? You want me to post receipts of the shit you say about your nigga? I ain't that messy, though. I don't move like that. I'm from the Bay. Where you from again? Brooklyn? That's how y'all... I think Jay-Z said it best. Never trust a New York nigga. Yeah. I think Jay-Z said that. Yeah. You a messy ass bitch. You sat here and just still tried to play games. When next Friday you were trying to fly out here to work with me still. With a whole deal on the side. And I still saying no, baby girl. Not happening. Nice try, Tanisha. You're not gonna get me out of my character. Subscribe to the OnlyFans. It's about to be lit. And like I said, y'all bitches is talking a whole good, like, a lot. Like, y'all really running y'all mouths. I didn't know such a bad bitch could get all these bitches going. Like, y'all really mad. Big mad. Meanwhile, Tanisha is still trying to work with me. <laughs> you literally are still trying to get a whole check with me next week on Friday. Like, you are so fucking, like, you are so shady. This is insane. It's not happening, sis. You literally are so fucking insane. Mind you, the fact that you said I didn't have COVID is even more insane. And those are the only receipts a boss bitch is going to show. I don't need to show that you talk shit about your husband via text messages with me. I don't need to pull up the fake contract that Danny and Gabby sent that says Bad Girls Club on it. I don't need to log into any account that shows mine and my husband's name was on it because you guys didn't have business accounts. It was going into a business account. You fucking just told the people it was going into my personal account. Every single one of you guys had access to the login. Every single one of you. All of you guys have had OnlyFans but me. So, uh, uh, you guys set it up. All of you guys know, like, this is full of shit. So, please, stop trying to make Natalie the bad guy. Please, cut it out. And Tanisha, I know you're watching, 
And I'm not saying any kind of a threat that I would post up the um, text messages about you, what you say to your husband. I don't roll like that, sis. You can't get me out of my character. You see what I'm saying? I don't roll like that. But you were trying to do a whole show with me still. And you were also just about to fly out here to LA next Friday to do a whole show with me. You are so full of fucking shit. Have a nice night. I know you're all gonna subscribe. The OnlyFans is popping. We are in the less than one percentile of the, of, of, I don't even know, top shows. It hasn't even started yet. So the drama hasn't even really begun on OnlyFans. I'm sure we'll be the number one subscribe show in within three days.